Cubs and Braves at Wrigley Field, the last series before the All-Star break. The Cubs All-Stars, Anthony Rizzo, Starlin Castro, receiving their jerseys. Bears legend Gail Sayers threw out the first pitch. Bottom three runners of the corners, nobody out. Jake Arrieta, the Cubs pitcher, helps his own cause. A safety squeeze off Alex Wood. Chris Coughlin scores, 1-0 Chicago. Two batters later, Justin Ruggiano up. 3-2 hit on the ground. Simmons won't get to it. Holt will come around third to score. Justin Ruggiano makes it 2 to nothing. So the Cubs add to their lead. The top of the fourth inning, it's 2-1 Chicago. Justin Upton up, a runner on third. Back to the mound. Arietta can't get Angleton Simmons at home, so he takes a safe play. But the game's tied. Then top six, an RBI double from Freddie Freeman, a deep drive off the Ivy. Alex Wood scores, and the Braves take a 3-2 lead. In the bottom of the sixth, it's Coglin with the bases loaded, delivering. Into right field, that ties the game as Anthony Rizzo scores, and that does it for Wood. Shea Simmons would replace Wood. The next batter he faces, pinch hitter Luis Valbuena, and he walks him on four pitches with the bases loaded. Cubs go in front, 4-3 as Starlin Castro trots home. But then top of the ninth, Hector Rondon looking to close things out, and he can't do it. It's Christian Betancourt up the middle. Jason Hayward ties the game, third blown save of the year for Rondon. But then bottom of the ninth inning, Justin Ruggiano up with a runner on second, facing Jordan Walden. Two and one on Ruggiano, here's a pitch. Ground ball, Simmons can't stop it, cuts a win. Alcantara scores. Simmons might be hurt, the Cubs celebrating as they beat the Braves five to four. The rookie, Aris Mendy Alcantara, reached second base and put himself in scoring position with his first career steal. That set up the Cubs' 5-4 win. Jake Arrieta went seven and two-thirds. He gave up three earned runs on four hits and struck out six. In his last seven starts, Arietta's 4-0, pitching to a microscopic 1.30 ERA. 39,544 watched the game, the largest crowd of the season at Wrigley Field.